Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. Last week, my wife Nan and I went to Arlington National Cemetery to place a Redeemer member's remains with her husband's there. Actually, the story is a lot more complex than that. This all began as I was serving a different congregation. Almost 30 years ago, her husband had unexpectedly died, and because of his military service, he was able to be buried at Arlington. As it happened, some other folks in that church had a son, Greg, who happened to be serving at that time as part of the funeral detail there at Arlington, and he helped us arrange the burial. In the years since, we moved here, and then she moved here and joined Redeemer. When she died, the plan was that we would take her to Arlington, where her remains would rest in the same niche as her husband's. It took a while to get this all arranged, and even though Greg is no longer serving in the military, he helped us once again to navigate the red tape and make this happen. From my discussions with him, I believe he saw this as a way of honoring that veteran and his service by having his spouse join him there at Arlington. If he knew either of them, it must have been only a meeting or two. So Nan and I headed out to go to Washington, D.C. for this closure to their lives and to remember. And we wanted to give Greg a small token of our appreciation for all that he did to help this come about. Illness prevented Greg from attending the service, so Nan and I went to his house. It turned out that the gift we gave him was nothing compared to the gift he gave me. In our brief visit, he handed me a wooden plaque with scripture passage from Ephesians on the front. Put on the whole armor of God, it said, quoting from Ephesians 6. Stand, therefore, and fasten the belt of truth around your waist, and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all of these, take the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. On the back it said, To put on the full armor of God is to apply all of the gospel to all of your life. The whole armor is the expression of your full trust in God and what He has done for you through Jesus Christ. Your victory in spiritual warfare was secured at the cross of Christ and the blood that was shed there. Here's what the plaque looks like. I was deeply touched. Then he handed me this coin. On one side it shows a soldier armed for battle with the words, put on the whole armor of God. And on the other side, are images of the various weapons mentioned in the scripture and the words naming them. Greg said, I want you to have this. This was given to me by a chaplain just before I was sent to Iraq. I didn't know what to say. He was entrusting me with this medallion that he had held on to in order to help keep strong in his faith as he headed into very real battle. I was honored, humbled, and moved. I will treasure it and honor it for what it means for his own service, for our calling to a bold faith, and to always feel a connection with him. After we left his house and were driving back to D.C. for the service, I said to Nan, you know, I've been struggling to come up with a topic for next week for my morning Pastor Gary Live Reflections. I think what I'm going to do is a week on the whole armor of God. So the scripture that will guide our week is Ephesians 6, 11 through 18. And I encourage you to go ahead and look at that and to start thinking about the armor and your own faith. Each day we'll talk about one or more of those pieces of armor 
and what it means for us. Thank you, Greg. I will treasure these gifts. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power, St. Paul tells us. Armed and empowered by the Holy Spirit, may we do just that. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.